Okay, soil health is a, a very important um, part of our soil's resource. Uh, what we're really looking at is the overall condition of the soil. Um, is, is it uh, suitable for plant growth? Is it in a condition that's good for environmental quality and, and water quality? Um, and there are a lot of things that we can do to improve the overall conditions of our soils. Of course, there are inherent properties of the soil that um, are long-standing properties that we have no control over, like what is the material that the soil was made from, and what's the topography, and what's the climate, but there are things that we can improve, and that's what we're emphasizing when we talk about soil health. You know, what I consider to be a productive soil is a soil where you have, you know, high organic matter content, lots of residue on the soil surface. Uh, maybe you've uh, used cover crops. Um, you have a wealth of macro invertebrates in the soil, including earthworms as well as uh, microorganisms. So, and that's what I would consider a very productive type of soil. By having cover crops, the roots are, are growing um, into the soil. They are helping aggregate the soil. Um, they are enmeshing the soil particles. They're feeding the soil microorganisms because roots are always leaking carbon compounds into the soil. And it's really the soil organisms that make the, the soil aggregates. And there's a lot more that goes on with organic matter than people think. And it has a lot to do with the microorganisms that are present in the soil that actually play a very big role in aggregate stability. Um, every time you do any kind of a tillage um, activity on your soil, you're, um, you're doing a number of things. Um, you're breaking down the soil structure. Um, you're making it more open to, um, to oxygen to break down uh, organic matter that's in the soil. Um, a disruption to any kind of um, uh, microorganisms or or larger organisms even from the standpoint of uh, earthworms and that kind of thing. Um, a little bit of tillage is not necessarily bad but excessive tillage really does a lot more harm than good to our soils and it tends to feed itself so if we do tillage then we end up doing compaction underneath the tilled layer and then the next year or the next season we have to till deeper or more aggressively to break up that compaction layer. So one of the things we try to encourage people to, to do is till as little as possible. So doing no-till types of practice or conservation tillage types of practices are important things to do to actually increase the organic matter content of their soil. Uh, no-till we actually disturb the soil less so we're not um, we're not decomposing the organic matter that's in the soil as rapidly as, as we do when we're, when we're doing tillage. But even if you have a soil that looks fairly good, um, there's always room for improvement. And um, some people even refer to it as their uh, annuity, where um, more organic matter content, um, healthier soil will pay off on down the road. We have a new project that's really just starting on soil health and it's going to be going on for at least the next three years. We have four regional hubs in the state where we will be focusing training, research, and outreach directly to farmers. But soil health I think is going to be a major emphasis over the next several years among all conservation agencies and so I would encourage people to learn more about it and to, to realize that um, there can be big benefits for them in their production system and there will be a lot of opportunity to learn more about it over the next several years.